so hi and welcome back. Today we are going to take a look at the different trade ships in the game. The point of this video is to figure out if it's actually worth it to buy the biggest one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a run with this one. I'm going to time it. I'm going to do the best possible trade I can. Then we're going to look at what's the profit for a run. How many runs do we need to pay off the ship so to speak and also we are going to see how much xp do we actually get in the adventure mode so there's four ships i want to test out it's the little hauler the cargo cruiser the transport titan and the galactic carrier i'm not going to try out the lurker because it has only one cargo slot so it's not going to make a lot of money and I'm sure this ship is mostly intended for when we get illegal goods. Now the ships are all tier 2, and there's nothing really much we can do to upgrade them. We can't put in components, we can't go to the faction stations and upgrade them yet. I'm hoping that we do get components and stuff for the ships later on. First up, we're going to do the little hauler. So, we got 29 minutes before the reset. So we're just going to look and see if we can find a really good trade here. So first off, we're going to do robotics from Atlan. And once we get there, we're going to see where we can sell it. So here we are, we landed at Atlan. And we're just going to buy the goods we need. Now, we have 247 millions. And 600,000. And we are going to need some robotics. And we're going to buy off 20 units of robotics. Using roughly 2 million. Now, we need to find a place to sell it. So, for selling robotics, we need the best price possible. I would love it if you could click up here and, you know, just get it sorted, but we cannot. So, we have to find it manually. So, the best price I found was at Harkonnen. Harkonnen, that's from June. At 208,000 per unit, and they are willing to buy 261. So, we're just going to set a course for that. Another thing is the Adventure XP, and we have 12,656. So let's see how much we do here. Lastly, the distance from the trade hubs and to the Stargate is roughly the same for some weird reason in every system. So it should be fairly easy to compare the travel time from get-go to arrival. Here we are. And the travel time was 6 minutes and 20 one seconds total. Once we sell our robotics, we're gonna get back four million. So, all in all, we made roughly two million, two million two hundred thousand. And now we have 28,000 adventure XP, so we made in the vicinity of 16,000 adventure XP. Now, considering that. The price of the little hauler is around 25 million, give or take a bit. It would be possible to make back your money in 10, 15, between 10 and 15 trips. So that's quite a lot. So next up we're going to try is the cargo cruiser. That's worth 50 million. Again, we're going to go look at what's worth it. Yeah, we're going to go for weapons again for 97,000. So we're just going to go there. So we made it back to the station and we're just going to hurry up and buy all the robotics we can, which is 30. We're going to use 2.9 million to buy it. Also, we're sitting at the 28,000 XP. And now we pretty much just have to wait for the timer to reset so we can figure out where to sell it. So, we're coming up on the reset. 
let's see what happens. Oh yeah, see, the price dropped a lot. And they only want to buy 68 now. So let's see if we can find another place. So, they want to buy our weapons in Sion for 208,000. That's pretty much the same that we would have gotten at Hakonin, so... It should give us a clear picture of what is better. We're also going to time the trip and see how long it takes. So see you on the other side. So here we are in the Sion system. And actually we used roughly 5 minutes and 20 seconds to get here. So it's a full minute faster. Selling it we get 6.2 million. So that's roughly a, a profit of 3 million. And at a price of 50 million. 50, and since we had to pay 50 million for the ship itself it's well over 15 trips to make our money back 16 17 18 trips we do cut off a minute on each trip but still i'm not sure that this this ship is actually worth it compared to the other ones talking about the adventure xp we went up from 28000 to 51000 so that's a net profit of roughly 23000 adventure xp it's a bit more but not really worth it in my opinion so the next ship we want to try is the transport titan at 77 million and it has four cargo slots so here we are at the station and the travel time this time was roughly five minutes and ten seconds if we go in and sell we get 8.3 million, so we make a profit of roughly 4 million. And at a price of 77 million, we need to do at least 20 trips with fairly decent trades in robotics. Coming to talents, we get 82,000 XP, which means we made roughly 29,000 XP. It's slightly better than the last one, but nothing big really. For the last trip, we're going to use the Galactic Carrier, the huge ship, the biggest of them all, with a total of five cargo slots at 138 million. Now this ship is actually huge, but let's see how well it does. So here we are. Now the travel time was just under 5 minutes. So we shaved off another 10-15 seconds of the travel time. We came in at 4.55. Something like that. As for profits, we're making a whopping 5 million. But at a profit at 5 million, you'll have to take this trip at least 38, 30 times. Something like that. So there is that. It is a bit slower. Well, when it comes to the XP, we went from 82,000 to 121,000. So that's about 40,000 XP, which is the best we have gotten yet. So having done a... So now that we have done a trip in the little hall of the cargo cruiser, the transport Titan and the galactic carrier, what would be my conclusion? Well, it depends a little bit on what you want. If you do like trading, the bigger ship, to me, is clearly the better one. It is faster, and it's faster by one and a half minute at least to the smallest ship. If you do ten runs in the small ship, it will be more than an hour. And if you do ten runs in this big ship, it will be closer to 50 minutes. Now, that's only ten minutes, of course, that's not a lot. But still, faster is better. Also... If you're trading, well, you might as well make a lot of ad adventure XP and yeah, you do get more per run here. Now, in terms of making back the money or paying off the ship, well, the bigger, the more runs, you can say that. But once it paid off, it's a 
very nice income for a small trip and you can actually log in and do a single trip or two uh, when you have the time and so yeah the bigger ship is clearly my favorite it's a bit faster you make a bit more money per run and you do make more xp per run now in terms of selling your ship you can do that but that's really gonna cost a lot of money we bought this for a whopping 138 million and we only get 16 million back and funnily enough actually the transport titan well you also get only 16 million for that so that's not really worth it so in conclusion the bigger ship is the better ship because it saves you some time it's also the better ship because you make more money per run it's the worst ship when it comes to paying it off but once it's paid off it's the better income and of course the amount of adventure xp you get per run is far greater in the bigger ship thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a like leave a comment if you didn't like it well give me a thumbs down and leave a comment on why you didn't like it hopefully i'll see you friday when the new patch is out and uh, yeah thank you and see you